The Hudson River, America's first river, the North River, the river that flows two ways. The Hudson was the commercial highway that connected the economy of the colonies, the coast, and the heartlands. Today's Hudson is a very different river than the one the settlers sailed on, but it's still the longest estuary in the United States. Over 150 miles of its 315 mile length ebbs and flows with tidal waters. Here at the mouth of the river, where it empties into the sea, is the River Project. Founded by Kathy Drew in 1986 on the old Pier 26 and still run by her, the River Project is an independent marine science research station focused on the Hudson River estuary system. It stands as a pillar of research and education about the river and bay. Because of the River Project, we know more about the health and vitality of the estuary, its current population, the quality of the water, and the prospects for continuing the healing of the river and bay to become once again a safe and stable fishery, a natural storm buffer, and a beloved part of every New York City resident's life. The mission of the River Project is education, research, and public programming. As a field station now headquartered at Pier 40 in Manhattan, the River Project makes an ideal location for school field trips. For many middle school and high school students in New York City, this is the first time they have ever touched the Hudson River and their first time understanding that the river is an active ecosystem. For over 25 years, we've been teaching kids how important it is to protect and care for the river, to see it as a living, breathing ecosystem. And for many kids, this is their first introduction to real field-based science and to see what biology really is. It's also a place ideally suited for students interested in marine biology to further their studies. The River Project hosts internships for high school, college, and graduate students that help them determine their field of study. It's an amazingly cost-effective, science-rich education. As the only independent access to the Hudson for marine biologists in Manhattan, the field station and lab are an essential part of the Marine Science Research Network here in the Northeast. Board members past and present are a who's who of the marine research community and who return time and again for access to the facility. Current work focuses on the restoration of the oyster population, as well as an ongoing program to trap and catalog native and invasive species. We maintain a harbor monitoring station that's part of a vast and complex network that updates every 15 minutes. And it's right here on the website, displaying real-time results. The team participates in a weekly laboratory analysis of water quality so boaters, swimmers, and fishers in New York Harbor can understand the condition of the river in near real time. And the heart and soul of the river project is the estuarium, one of the first of its kind in the U.S. Using water pumped in directly from the river below, the estuarium displays are a public-facing seasonal aquarium exhibit that only features creatures collected by the river project from the river that season. Wet lab staff are always on hand to show, to educate, to involve. As a host site for river dives, outreach programs, lectures, and children's events, it is a vibrant hub of understanding. It's a magical introduction to the river community. And for many, it's a startling and rapid change of understanding and appreciation of the river as a beautiful, viable habitat that needs us as much as we need it. And the River Project now needs to plan for the future with the goal of returning the estuarium to the new Pier 26 and creating a facility for the 21st century, we envision a year-round public resource that New York City wants and needs to educate, to research, and to inspire the people of the river that flows two ways.